Where could it be? Because that, where it was already up here, the bottom. Mm -mm. The next one under that. Yeah. And then go to the second video. Nope, down, right there. No, the other one. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good it's, morning. Good morning. It's Coffee and Conversations with the AMR Elite Realtors with Taylor Properties. Yes, good morning. Good morning. And we want to talk to all those people out there that are ready to sell their home and give you some tidbits. That's right. And I'm Ashana Perry. And I'm Juanita Winky Kennedy. Okay, y'all. So today we are going to talk about curb appeal. If you are a seller right now in this hot market, you want to make sure you are tuned into this video and tag some of your neighbors. If you are a buyer, you also want to make sure you're tuned in because you might buy a resale and want to do some upgrades for your yard. And if you are a renter, we are also going to talk about some things that you can do that are not permanent that still makes your house a home. So let's get into it, Juanita. So first and foremost, the first thing that a person does is enter the what? The door of the home. And so I've been seeing some very beautiful colors pop nowadays. Red doors. Yes. Red doors. They really make a difference on the property. I mean, everything in the house could be messed up. But if that door is red, <laughs> I'm you telling you. You want to go in. Right? You got to sell. <laughs> So I've been seeing so many different doors, people just changing their door out for doors that have small little uh, glass in them mm -hmm. and that are really beautiful and they enhance the value of the property. So just remember, when you decide to sell your home, that front door makes a big difference. That's okay? right. And there's so many embellishments that you could add with that color of pop of paint, like a welcome sign. There are some nice wreaths that you can add on your front door that looks inviting with different colors. That I mean, there are so many different ideas that you can do to make people feel that they're invited into your space. Exactly. So, and then the other thing is those shutters. Something that a lot of people overlook when they're selling their homes. Mm -hmm. Those shutters, if they are damaged and they are in ill repair, they don't really cost that much to get no. them repaired. And then, or paint it. If they have, you know, sometimes the, the color kind of, you know, fades yeah. after so many years, paint those shutters. It makes a big difference in how the house is viewed. And also, if you get it photographed and you have a great real estate agent like Mashana and myself, That's they will right. tell you that they're going to get, we're going to uh, professionally photograph your house before it goes on the market so that every once they see it, they can say, oh, I love it. I would love to live there. That's right. So doing those small little things there getting a little bit of paint on those shutters, changing your door or painting your door if the door is not, you know, damaged or anything, right. makes a big difference to get you to the settlement table with top dollar. That's right. And it, it doesn't really cost a lot. Also, if you're in a community that has an HOA, that's a homeowners association, a lot of them will require you to make sure that those shutters are painted after a certain amount of time because they want to keep the neighborhood looking nice. And, and it definitely gives um a nice fresh look when everybody has those uh nice colors on their shutters and their doors so i want to talk about lighting mm -hmm. you can light up your walkway um that's a good idea to make your home pop and stand out above the others um do you know i've even found um lighting for the walkway in the dollar tree that, you, yes, yes, at the dollar you, store. And you exactly. would be amazed the difference that it makes in the look of the curb appeal to your home. Um, even with your mailboxes, if you have a rusty old mailbox, replace it. Replace it. You can add flowers around the mailbox. Yes. 
um, and also your street number. A lot of people over time, the numbers fade, they get worn out because of the weather. You want to replace those numbers. Go down to your local hardware store and get those things that are very inexpensive, but they make a huge difference from the way that your home pops and stands out from the rest. Yes, indeed. And then we want to think about cleaning up your yard. Yes. Now, if your yard is full of debris, it's definitely going to be a turnoff to the person that wants to buy your home. Mm -hmm. They may have children that they want to run through the yard. They may want items. So if you have items that are that take away from that yard space, let's mm -hmm. just say you have a shed and it's leaning. Fix that shed. Make it so that it stands upright. Paint it. Paint its shutters. And make it look just as well and inviting as the home that the person is going to be moving into. So, I mean, that's just really one, a small thing there. Uh, make sure that your grass is green. Uh, the lawn paint, now, I've never heard of that yes. before. So there is now a thing out that is lawn paint where you can actually sort of like spray paint your grass to give it that fresh green look. Yes, this is I imitation. have never heard of this, but listen. <laughs> Even though it's an imitation look, because a lot of times when you're in an area where the sun is beaming on your grass, you know, it'll turn a little brown. Right. Um, it definitely can be an eyesore. And it can be expensive to hire lawn maintenance. And sometimes it's not going to happen overnight for your grass to turn green, right? But if you are in the market for selling your home while you're waiting for that grass to turn green, if you've given it some type of chemicals, you can get the lawn paint that will spray that grass, it'll look freshly green, and it will definitely pop for your curb appeal. Listen, oh, you gotta do what you gotta do, exactly. right? Exactly, because you want that house to shine above the rest. That's right, absolutely. So, um, and I wanna talk about DIY because a lot of times when people are doing things, especially if they're selling their home in today's hot market, they kind of, I don't really need to do all that stuff. I don't want to invest the money or whatever. But it does make a difference. And these projects and ideas that we're giving you are very inexpensive. So I want to give you some DIY ideas because this is not just for sellers. What if you um, are a buyer and you bought a home where the seller did not do anything to the house? You got it as is, and now you want to go in and revamp some things to make that house your home. Even if you're renting, your landlord might not do a lot of things to the yard in different areas, but you want to make it nice because it's your space that you're living in at the time. Exactly. So um, some of the things you can do is your front porch. Do a sitting area. Do something inviting. Add some plants. If you don't have a green thumb, get some artificial plants. And, you know, those would still look just as nice. Yes, it gives will. a nice, yes, inviting right, environment. Install some flower boxes. A lot of this stuff you can get from your local Dollar Tree and create these things. Power wash your walkways, your decks, your siding. Make sure that that pollen that we uh, know and love oh at this time goodness. of year has not made your siding green and your walkways don't look fresh. It does make a difference. It truly can turn a resale or older home into something that still can compete with the newer houses on the market for not a lot of money. So these are some tips that we want to give you guys if you're looking to purchase or sell a home or even a rental. You can always contact the AMR Elite Realtors with Taylor Properties. And we also want to let you know we are an amazing brokerage yes. that is in the DMV area. And located. we are hiring. <laughs> yes, in Waldorf, Maryland. This is our broker here, Alicia, and we're going to let her tell you a little about it. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Yes, this is AMR Elite Realtors with Taylor Properties. We are a great family of realtors here, very experienced. Ms. Juanita Winky Kenny, Ms. Rashana Perry, we have Mr. Tyrone Kennedy, Mr. David King, Ms. Shaquia Coleman, Ms. Daphne Small. Come on and join and us. Ms. Sylvia Mall, and we are all here ready to help you with whatever your real estate needs are, but we're also looking for some more smiling faces. Feel free to reach out whenever you get the opportunity, 301-645-4663. And that spells home. That's Come right. on and make AMR Elite Realtors with Taylor Properties your new home. That's 
right, guys. And what are we? We and are reliable, reliable realtors. realtors. Offering exceptional service. No need to go too far. Come, Come on down, down to AMR. AMR. We love you guys. We'll see you again next Coffee and Conversation. Thanks for watching.